Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a video off uh, YouTube called a short that just the gentleman goes real fast and just music playing in the background. They asked how you would draw this. This would probably be one of the easiest patterns anybody could draw. Take a square, I don't care what size, hold down the control button. I'm going to hit P, which I always do. It doesn't really matter. Control D and make a duplicate while holding down the shift key, bring it in to wherever you want. Then, but we need two more equal boxes from that shape, so we're going to go to effects and blend just twice. Those are all equal. Now, we're going to take a two-point line and draw from that corner to that corner, and all we're going to do is take the Smart Fill tool and fill in that one and that one. Now, uh, you can take your Smart Fill and nudge it out of the way. Let's make it like six inches. Because it's better to nudge it and then delete these lines. Because you could say no lines, but they're still going to be there. Now, Control D and make a duplicate. And grabbing that handle, mirror it that away. Control D and group that. Mirror that handle. And I guess come this way. No, go the other way. Uh, go this way. I didn't Control D. I didn't make a duplicate. So now you have that box. Now it's always easier to group it together and then rotate it 45 degrees to make the pattern. And now we're going to make this thing with a ratio locked. We're just going to make it two inches. We're going to change our nudge factor to two. That's one thing nice about making your item even. Now this is all, and we could do this with the transformation docker, but since we're just going to go with this. Control D and make a duplicate and move it over. Control D, Control D. Do as many as you want. And then, Control D, and because it's two by two square, we can just keep going down till it's a rectangle. And I think that's it. Now, how I got the blue behind it was very easily. If you select all this and hold down the shift and double click on your rectangle tool, no, it has to be a group. I take that back. You have to group this together. Control G. Hold down the shift key and double click the rectangle. Now I'm going to nudge that out of the way just a little bit so I can grab it. And I am going to just make it blue. And then I'm going to go to object, order back a page. And of course, I don't have to add that blue. And now I can nudge that back. And I could have made it any color I wanted to or left it blank so you could just see the pattern through. So this is really, really easy. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.